Hello, my name is Sean. I'm a software developer based in London and I'm a Career Foundry tutor as well. Today, we'll be reviewing a web dev student's portfolio. Having a polished portfolio and a public profile is super important in tech. This is where your hiring managers, your potential team will be looking at, they'll be looking at your projects, the skills that you've obtained, and even for potential clients in the future. They wanna see the work that you've done and a public profile is one way for you to communicate that. Let's jump right into it. So today we're reviewing Veronica's portfolio. So let's take a look over here. So let's see that intro again. Actually, I quite like that. So it starts off with hello and then her picture and a nice little snippet of her profile jumps in. She's a web dev based in Austin, Texas. So I quite like this, it's super simple. Um, but right off the bat, I know Veronica's where she's based. She's based in Austin and that she's a web developer, which is very cool. And yeah, there's a call to action to view her work right off the bat. And clicking on that, you can see her portfolio straight away. And I quite like this because she has about six or seven, six or seven projects here. And all of them are uh, really well explained. Um, it tells you, so for example, this native chat app, um, it tells you what you can do with it. You can exchange text messages, images, and share location. So straight away, I know what the application does. Actually, I quite like this as well. So she's added the portfolio website as, um, as a project. So the site that I'm on, she's already given me some technical details about it, uh, that it's written in pure HTML and CSS and it touches JS. So this is very cool. And yeah, like this is pretty cool that I can jump straight to the, the GitHub code for this. It's very cool. And yeah, and then you have contact details at the bottom. But what I will do now is I'm gonna jump into, yeah, let's jump into, let's jump into this. So this is CineStock and yeah, this is a GitHub project for it. A complete movie web app that allows users to create a profile, search and save info on movies. So this is great. Right off the bat, um, there's a description of what this application does um, and then a brief technical explanation that is created with Node.js and uses RESTful APIs. So this is really good. As, as a hiring manager, I will be looking for, well, what is that application? What is that project? And how did you build it? Uh, my only critique for this would be, is to have like a readme, like a markdown file, which explains how I can, um, if I wanted to boot this app up myself, how, how I could do it. And it gives you an opportunity to really explain um, some technical choices that, that you've made. So yeah, I quite like this. Uh, the next thing I, I would usually do is um, if, I, if I like a repository, I'll jump into the commits. Now, why do I jump into the commits? Because it gives an indication of how this individual works. So when they're updating certain, uh, certain styles, for example here, I can see that Veronica has clearly said update log, log out button style. Um, and this is important because this will be your interface with the rest of the team is your commit messages. Um, so briefly scrolling through it, yeah, you can see, you can see she's clearly named her commits. There's, there's some commits, for example, um, here, which is update styling, maybe a little, a little bit more information there. Um, however, overall, it, that's very good. And if we just jump back into, uh, into her portfolio site, I like the fact I like the fact how she's got her skills and she's used just a single row to display all of her skills. Um, and I also like this section here, three random facts about her. Uh, gives me an idea of her personality. Um, she likes rock climbing and traveling and things like that. So this already, these are the points of conversations we can have if I jump on a phone call with her or if we call her in for an interview. So that's very well done. Yeah, my... Um, if I, if I was scrutinizing this a little bit, I would say um, for any sort of te technical portfolio, have one or two projects where you can talk uh, really in depth about the technical decisions you've made. 
uh, whether you do that on uh, GitHub or you do that on uh, the website itself, um, that's totally up to you. But if you are giving a link to your portfolio, then I would say, for example here, why not have a, uh, if you could click this, click this window here, just have a section where it says what the application's about, which Veronica has done here, but exactly what libraries did you use? Uh, why did you use them? Um, and this, uh, this is very important. And if you, can, if you can show the hiring manager that you have this sort of uh, insight into your technical decisions and that you haven't just pieced things together on the internet, that's great. So that's, uh, that's that. Cool, let's jump into the GitHub repository for this native chat app. So once again, very good job with the description here, um, mentioning the technology used, React Native, um, and that it's a chat interface and you can share images and location. So right off the bat, I can just read that and I know straight away what this project's about. Very good. Uh, a very extensive readme here, um, and it's a React Native chat applications. Yeah, so this is really good. So it, it provides a summary of what the application is, and then it proceeds to tell me how I can install this locally. Um, so if I wanna actually jump in there and try out the application myself, I can do that. So this is pretty good. Let's take a look at the commits. So yeah, you can see Veronica has done a good job here. You can see the create readme, commit, update readme. And again, this is, this is super important. Uh, when working on projects, it's very easy to um, fall short on the commit messages, uh, but she's resisted that temptation and it's, yeah, it's very good. And I know straight away that actually I could work with Veronica on a team and I know exactly what she's doing. Well done, Veronica. And lastly, yeah, and this is cool as well. If someone wants, uh, if someone, and she looks like she's open to a freelance work and she has a clear way of um, displaying how you can contact her. And there's an, there's an email to, uh, there's a button to email her. Yeah, that was Veronica, that was very good. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give it a like and be sure to subscribe to the Career Foundry channel. And also check out the other web dev portfolio review that we've got on our channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.